Hello there, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 real ways that you can increase your sales on eBay and other platforms. I have been doing this over the last couple of months and I've seen a really big increase in my sales. Things were pretty slow when I was just kind of listing and just chugging along and not... Hey everyone, welcome to Pardon me. We are a new kind of... Yeah, I had this screen up on the side, sorry. Um, I am live, so if you're here watching live, say hey in the chat. But I am gonna be sharing 10 things that I have done lately to see a big increase in the number of sales that I'm getting and the number of packages going out the door. So if you're interested in content like this, reselling, learning how to sell online, what sells, thrifting, garage sale, haul videos, things like that, then make sure you have subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell if you're wanting to catch me live or when you wanna see uh, when new videos come out. So without further ado, if you're here in the chat, say, hey, and I'm going to wait till the end to jump into the chat so that I can get all the content out in the front. And as you're watching, if you think of another way that you have seen that has, in, have, is, hmm, has increased your eBay sales or online sales on whatever platform, then make sure you leave a comment. I'm going to share my 10 and I want to hear one from you. So let's get started. The first way that I have increased my eBay sales is to offer one to two day shipping as far as handling time. Uh, usually I do this, but uh, there was a time of, over the last year where things just were pretty stressful. And so I moved my handling time out to three to five days. And I really saw a slowdown in my sales because people are used to that Amazon same day, next day shipping. And so really to be competitive, if you're able to offer that one to two day shipping, I know it's not feasible for everybody, but definitely something to, to do. And I pulled up the USPS site because I use this um, to help me get my packages out on time. I used to live really close to my post office, but now I don't. And so what I do here is I go uh, to schedule a pickup whenever I have my sales ship uh, packaged up. So every evening packed to sales and I schedule a pickup for the next day. Post office comes to my house and picks up my packages, scans them all in, and it's really convenient. So if you aren't using that feature from USPS, then definitely take a look at that. So the next thing seems like a no brainer, but it is to get good feedback. And the way that you do that is just offer really good customer service, make sure that your descriptions are on point, everything in your listing matches up to what the item is promised to be. And then also make sure, you know, like here, people like fast shipping. So they'll say, you know, super fast shipping, make sure you've packaged it up really well so that when they get it, that everything looks really nice. I don't do anything super fancy with my shipping. I use just some tissue paper and I have a, an insert. Oh, I, I need to grab one of those to show you in just a second here. Um, but make sure that you've got really good feedback. Now, if you do have a negative or a neutral feedback that you want to get revised, there is, as you can see right here, a feedback revision request available five. So there is a way to request feedback revision. One way, you know, you can talk to the, the buyer and say, you know, hey, what can we do to resolve this? I see you're unhappy. What can we do? And try to go around it that way. Um, and then there's another way here where you can go through feedback revision. I'm not going to dive too deep into how to do that, but there is an article here that you could Google by Holly McQuillan, McQuillan uh, eBay, feedback, eBay feedback revision, how to improve your seller reputation. So that was a really good article and it walks you through how to go about getting uh, that revision done. Okay, so I'm checking in the chat. Okay, I'm going to jump in the chat. I'm going to say hi in a little bit when we get uh, to that point here in just a second. I'm checking my stream, make sure my stream looks okay. Okay, let me know in the chat too if my stream gets weird, but I have my, my new camera going. Okay, so the next thing that I would say to definitely do is have best offer activated. So right here, whenever you list an item, make sure that you've got the ability for your buyers to send you an offer. And I do this on eBay. Etsy doesn't have an, a best offer, but I make sure that I, I list in my listing, you know, offers welcome. Mercari, Poshmark, people can send offers. 
I like having that feature activated because I tend to price on the higher side. I do it on purpose because uh, some people might buy it at that price, but that also gives me some wiggle room and the buyer some wiggle room to feel like they're getting a good deal. And so I always have that activated. And a lot of my sales do come from buyers sending offers. I had one today that sent an offer that I accepted especially on some of those listings that, that you've had up for a long time and you're like really ready to get them moving. When you get those best offers on, on an item you've had up for a number of months, it's definitely a nice feeling to be like, oh, okay, let's get this out the door. The next tip that I've got for you, oh, I'm going the wrong way on my slides, is to revamp your listings. And what I mean by that is just scrolling through your store, Take a look at the photos. Do they pop or do any of them when you look at them like stand out like ooh, that kind of cringeworthy? Um, and then another thing that I like to do, which I have found so many of my listings have um, had this mess up. Look at the picture of the item and just real quick in your head, tell yourself what it is. So if the first item, I would say shirt. And if I look at my title and I don't see the word shirt there, I know it sounds silly, but there's been so many times that I've looked at it and my number one keyword for what the item actually is, is either so far down in my listing in the title that it doesn't show up or it's not there at all. Uh, so like shirt, robot, box, tray, egg, you know, just, and just look at it and see, you know, wall pocket. I think you kind of get what I'm talking about here. So carousel, turtle, and just go through. I mean, it seems like just a no brainer, but I can't tell you how many times I've looked at an item and realized that I didn't have what the actual item I put. I spent so much time putting all the details of what about the item that I actually don't say shoes. And actually on this one, these, these, these sold this morning, but I just put boot and I realized that I should have written boots because I don't know, like if you're typing in boots, if just the singular will show up. So that was an error that I probably should have gone back and fixed. Had I not sold them this morning, that's something I probably would be going back and fixing. So that was, um, okay, so next up, the next thing, I'm gonna switch out my screens real quick because the next thing that I wanna say to do is to check out what's trending. And this is a little bit challenging, it can be for me anyway. Um, so what I did and what really brought this to my attention was when I was out garage selling with Juan and he knew about some boots that were selling of hot, hot sellers that I walked past and I didn't want to pick up. And so that kind of keyed me into like, I need to be aware of what are trending hot things uh, that are selling quickly because over the last, you know, over those two or three days, he bought four pairs of these boots, these Iron Ranger Red Wing boots, and they all sold, three of them sold the day or the next day that, that we listed them. And then the black pair is the one that just sold, I think, because the black were not as hot as the other ones. So just even going on, doing a Google search of, you know, trending men's shoes or hot men's shoes 2020 or whatever. And then what I did was I opened up different tabs for the articles from different places. And then I tried to see which ones were the same. So I was noticing that men's brogue shoes, which are kind of like those wingtip style shoes, um, showed up multiple times on the different articles. And then I also noticed, you know, the, the Iron Rangers showed up on multiple articles. So I knew, okay, those are ones that are things that I should be looking for because I'm seeing that repeatedly in some of these like what's trending articles you could do this for men's shoes women's shoes housewares any any anything really and then i just went and looked at the sold listings these are for brogues this is just one and this is something you can do just watching tv or waiting for kids at soccer you know do a quick search like what should i be looking for and as you can see the brogue shoes which are like i say that kind of wingtip and they have those kind of punch out little circles uh, uh, for their details <clears throat> um, multiple different brands are selling, you know, Doc Martens, Rockports, just depending on the brand, the, the price um, varies, but it is an, an item that seems to be selling pretty well. So like I said, you could do that for, for anything, women's shoes, clothes, uh, really niche it down to what, what kind of things you like to sell, even jewelry trends. Goodness knows I have tons of jewelry that I could pull out depending on what's trending. 
Uh, all right, so let's get back to my other slide over here. So the next uh, tip that I have for you, and these are things that I've been doing when, again, is, oh, this is a big one for me. That's a new one. Is that, okay, this is the hot trend in men's shoes, is that I have started selling locally. So what I'm doing, and I'll, I'll talk to you in a second about listing across multiple platforms, but I put my items on Facebook Marketplace and anything that I am listing for, say, $40 or more, I have been putting um, not just shipping, but also locally to sell so that I can meet and sell locally. And I have found that I'm getting more sales doing that, not only for just random items, but also for things that I wouldn't normally pick up. So a lot of times when I would go to garage sales and thrift stores, there might be really large pieces, say furniture or really big breakable stuff like, all right, let me switch it over here. Like this, this was a really big stained glass window that I got at a garage sale for $10. And it was very large and very heavy breakable. And it sat in my house for, I would say six months before I listed it. Cause I just was thinking, what am I going to do with this thing? It's so huge. I'm not going to ship it. I didn't feel comfortable shipping big stuff like that. And then when I turned on that feature, you know what, let me try selling it locally, bought it for 10 bucks and I sold it for about $200 uh, locally. Of course, I don't mean at my house, you know, if you're going to do this, especially if you're a woman, you know, meet somewhere publicly at your local police station or somewhere or have somebody uh, go with you just for safety's sake. But that's been another way that I have increased my sales is to start selling some of those bigger, heavier items locally. And it kind of widens my reach as far as what I can pick up. So now I'm not so worried about, well, oh, I can't, I'm not going to pick up that really cool lamp because I, I'm not comfortable shipping something that big. I, I'll pick it up. I actually sold the lamp the other day locally. <laughs> so that was nice. Then the next tip, let's see what I've got here. Okay. That's the next tip. I don't have a slide board, but it is basically to to just list every day. And I know that's something that a lot of people talk about. Um, what I do is I go through and I will take just a big bunch of pictures so that I've got a ton of stuff to work with. Then at night I sit and edit, do any editing I need to do on the pictures. And then I just list all the time. I mean, if I'm watching TV, if I've been taking the kids to soccer, if I'm, I mean, just, just anywhere. I, and I don't use my phone cause I, I can't, I can't do it on my phone for whatever reason. I just, I'm not good at that. Um, but I just list like crazy. And that is something that will, I mean, it just activates that algorithm, I guess. And let me know what you think about this, because uh, I've heard other people talk about scheduling listings. So let's say you, you just can't do it every single day, but you, let's say on Monday, you're able to get 30 listings ready. Um, I've heard people talk about scheduling them. Say you do, you make five of them active on Monday and then you schedule the others, you know, five or so each day to go active just so that it's keeping that algorithm on uh, eBay or I don't know if you can do it on Etsy actually um, to keep it fresh, you know, that it's still showing your account is posting all the time. Um, so that's something I'm curious about too, because I don't really schedule listings because I can just, just list, list, list like crazy all the time. But that has helped. I mean, I've, I went from just in the last, I would say, four months, I went from having about 500 listings to having over a thousand listings. And I'm going to talk more about how I can do it so quickly here in just a little bit. But I have been just going bananas trying to get everything listed that's coming into the house. Not bananas, but it's really good for, for, for the sales. Uh, let's see. I'm seeing... I'm just making sure in the chat that I'm not missing anything that's pertinent to what we're talking about, but I will come back at the end. Um, okay. Yeah. Finding self similar really helps a lot as well. So if you're like really struggling to get, that's a good tip too. If you're like, I've got this thing, you know, selling similar will generate, um, help you generate your listing a lot quicker. Okay. All right. I'm going to come back to the chat here in a second. So, okay, another thing that I do, which I'm actually going to have to hop up and grab is, do I not have it on there? Let me grab my, my card real quick so I can show you. I meant to have it, have it handy, but I didn't, but now I do. All right. So the next thing that I do is that I run, um, I run sales in my 
eBay store. I think you can do it on Etsy now as well, but I don't always have promotions going on. And then, uh, so having a sale going on or a promotion. And then I have also an insert that I put into my, all my packages. And so one side, it just has my logo on the other side. I have a coupon code. So see you soon, take 15% off your, and I think eBay now you can, I'll have to double check that, that, that you can do a coupon code there. And then I have, of course, all of my links for my shops and everything, but I, I have a lot of return business based on my coupon code. Uh, so that is something now I get these done. I, I order these through Vista prints, but you can make these at home. You know, if you I, all the time finding those postcard, you know, printable postcards or whatever. Um, and going back to feedback, like I also have that here. If you can read that. So snap and share. I'd love, I'd love it. Oh, if you love it, I'd love to see how it looks. Upload a picture with your review. So a lot of times that really helps too, because then it reminds them, oh, you know what? I really like how this looks. Let me take a picture of how I have it in the house or whatever and upload it with the review. And that really helps um, other buyers when they see, you know, one, good reviews, but two, that people like the item so much that they're willing to upload a picture to put with their review. So let's see. Coupon codes. I did that. Running sales. And then the next thing is I send offers and you can do this. This is on Mercari. Um, and have I, oh, I closed that part out, but up at the top, you can sort on Mercari by number of likes, and then you can come through and say, see, I have 16 people who like this, this item and I can send an offer to likers. So that way I can go through, I don't do it for every single one, but if I've got an item that has a ton of people liking it, then I will go through and send an offer on those items because it can get cumbersome if you're down to like only one liker, but Hey, if you, if you don't have that many items, go for it. But when you've got a thousand items, that's a little bit harder to do, but you can do that on eBay as well. Did I not have that pulled up on eBay? Um, you can also send offers to people who are liking your items. And I do that. I check that multiple times a day, especially on eBay. On Mercari, I do it because with Mercari, once you send the offer to likers, I think it's 48 hours before you can send another one or where it, it gives them that much time. So, but I, yeah, I check it multiple times a day on eBay. So if I see anybody that I, I can send an offer to, I do that. I do that. And then lastly, uh, and I know this is talking about um, increasing sales on eBay, but another way to really increase your sales, if you're looking at trying to make a profit um, to support your family or to go full-time or even part-time is to list on multiple platforms. I list on eBay, Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace. And I do that through List Perfectly. This is a paid site, but what you can do there is you create a listing inside List Perfectly. You don't have to do it that way. I have videos talking about this, but as you can see here, these are all my listings on my List Perfectly platform on the, my dashboard. And what I do is I upload the pictures there. I can edit them in this platform. I can knock out the backgrounds. I create my entire listing there. And then this little arrow, that's this crisscrossy arrow, you click that and then you can select all the platforms. And they have more than just eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. Um, and then you just click the button and it populates all the information and uploads all the pictures to all the platforms you have selected. And it's so fast. And this is one of the ways that I've been able to get so many listings done. Um, and also you can create templates in there. So this is another way that makes it really, really fast. So I can create a template for hard goods, for shoes, for shirts, for, for anything that I've got that I'm listing multiples of, and it'll just automatically create the template for me just to fill it. It's kind of like a fill in the blank thing for myself, where I just fill in the measurements, fill in the brand, fill in the condition, and then I just move on and list it. So it's really, really fast to get, um, to get the listings up across multiple platforms. And I do have a coupon code down below. If you use my link, you get 30% off, which is fantastic. And uh, as I said, if you've got any tips for how you have increased your sales on eBay, Etsy, any platform really, we'd love to hear about them. Leave a comment. And if you haven't, check out the comment section because you'll find lots of great information because my viewers are fantastic, you guys. 
Uh, and if you're done watching, I want to thank you for being here. I'm going to jump into the chat for our friends who are here live. Say, hey, answer any questions that are there. And if you're ever interested in catching me live, make sure that you have clicked that notification bell so you're notified when I put up a video or when I go live. So you can come say hey to all the fantastic people who are here in the chat live. All right. Let me jump into the chat and say hello to everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope that you guys were able to find some uh, some good tips here. Let's see. You've been enjoying. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Thank you. Good morning. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, let's see. I'm glad you could make it. I'm looking to see if there's any questions. Oh, you meet up at the, the police department at the parking lot in the police department. Yeah, a lot of times I'll do that. Our police department's a little farther um, but you know, I have, you know, Juan will meet up with me with them. It's really, it's, it makes me feel a lot safer to have somebody with me as well. So yeah, descriptions are cumbersome. We talked about that. Doing cell similar is always good. Let's see. You tried on your laptop. It goes quicker on your phone. <laughs> yeah. It's for, I think because for me, like I can't type with two fingers. I shared this before, like I have a short thumb, so it really makes it hard for me to like to type. I, if I voice the text, it, it, um, it goes a lot faster, but sometimes I will. Good morning, Crazy May. Good morning, good morning. Any other? Let's see. I have 90 items on eBay. When should I get an eBay store? I got an eBay store when, I can't remember what the cutoff is, but there's a line where it's like, if you have so many listings that you get a break for it, I can't think of what the, because on each eBay store, um, it's like, if you have, you get so many free listings not free, but you know what I mean? So many listings that you can, can post a month for free. It's not free though, um, because you're paying for it, but it's at a discount. Basically I would check that because I don't know what the basic store is. Cause I think I'm in the middle. I don't have the anchor store. Cause that's like, I don't, I will, I don't know that I'll ever get there, but, um, but I like the perks, definitely the discounts. And I like the, the eBay shipping supplies, coupons that you get. That's always nice. Um, and, but then, but then again, a lot of people never get an eBay store. So it's not something that's necessarily something you have to do because a lot of people don't do that. Okay. I don't see any more questions in the chat. Uh, thank you all for hanging out live. And if you're watching later again, thanks for coming to the, the video and I hope you got some good tips and leave one for me and I'll talk to you on the next one. Thanks for hanging out everyone. Bye.